Welcome Gemini, this is Tanya from Cyber Yoga and I help you navigate your life. Today it's time for your tarot reading for August 2021. But before I start, I'm gonna tell you a few things about my channel. If you want to subscribe, please don't forget to also click on the little bell button next to the subscribe button because it will give you a notification whenever I post a new video. If you want to see me live, I have one live reading per month, which is on July 7th, August 8th, September 9th, October 10th and so on, always at 7 p.m. Central European time. Um, you can click on set reminder and then you will get a reminder when my live reading starts. Now let's start with first a little guardian angel spray just to cleanse the air for your reading my dear Gemini and then I'm gonna turn on my camera so that you can see my hands. Um, I'm asking my higher self, please, to guide me, to guide our beautiful Gemini people towards their highest possible spiritual path in August 2021, please. Gemini, August 2021, please. Thank you. We've got the first two cards, the lovers and the king of chalices. Ooh, is there somebody coming into your life, my dear Gemini? Let's see. The eight of wands looks like they're coming in very quick. <laughs> Let's see. Anything else for Gemini, please? Gemini, please, August 2021. Two of Cups, the Sun, and the Six of Wands, wow. These are extremely positive cards. Let's look at the bottom of your deck. This is the Ace of Swords. Wow, Gemini, what a month this is for you, the August, wow. <laughs> now let's go right into your reading. My dear Gemini, I wish I was you this month because you have amazing cards. So look at this. First of all, you've got the lovers and right underneath the lovers, you've got the two of cups. And I hope you can see that here on the lovers, you have the cat and the fox being really young, like kids. And here the cat and the fox are grown and they look like they get married. So for some of you, this would mean that you know somebody since your childhood and you have always been together. This is your perfect person, your soulmate. And this looks like you two are going to get married for those of you who have this kind of connection that has been lasting since your childhood. Another way to interpret this for others of you is that here you join forces with someone who is complementary to you. Let's say, for example, you're good at words, you're good at everything with languages, writing, and this person is very good at mathematics, they can deal wonderfully with numbers, with uh, money. So you two put your two cups together and out comes, boom. A big thing. Why? Because you have complementary talents. You have talents that fit to each other like two puzzle pieces. So if that is a connection concerning your money and career, you find your per perfect work partner, your perfect associate. If you're going to work and you have a, a an employed job, this could mean that you meet your work husband or work wife, you know, somebody who is always there for you, who has your back when something happens and you join your forces. Also, the lover's card can sometimes mean for some of you that you have to make a decision, that maybe two people are interested in working with you and you have to make the choice. But the good thing is, in any way, whatever you choose, out comes the sun, something really great, you know? Um, I can just say that this combination, the lovers with the two of cups is enormously great for anything, both on the side of relationships and love and on the side of money and career. This is really fantastic. Now with the, let me see that I don't forget to say anything that I wrote on my cheat sheet. Yeah, it's also the two of, of cups can mean that you can enter some kind of um, club 
and that you have now a very good network. You have good connections which can help you on your way. Then we have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is maybe the person that you're going to get married to because this person provides a lot of love, emotional intelligence and stability. You know, this is a character who is already a little bit older, let's say above 40 or 50 years, and they have already got everything in their life. They have had their success. Maybe they already had children and raised them to be big. So they already had everything and that's why they are very calm inside. You know, they have this maturity about them. The spirit of stability is coming with them because they're in no rush. They have everything they ever wanted. So they can give you the time to really, if they offer you their cup of love, they can really give you the time that you need in order to really decide for them. For others of you, if it's not about love, then this person can be somebody who you trust, who you can always ask for advice. It's the helpful masculine figure. So it could be a dad, a granddad, an uncle that you trust very much, somebody who you can always run to when there's when you're in need, okay? And then you have, fantastically, the Eight of Wands. With the Eight of Wands, good news are coming in very quick. No matter if that is about romance or money and career, this is good news coming in quick. So maybe you're gonna be even a little bit shocked uh, because you see here, this cat is like, whoa, so many good news at once, what's actually happening, yeah? Maybe somebody tells you, hey, I'm getting married, and the other person is telling you, hey, I'm pregnant. So you're like, wow, everybody around me is so happy. And even for you, the good news are coming in, yeah? It's a lot going on. The, there is a lot of velocity inside this card, yeah? suddenly things start to happen really quickly. And the Eight of Wands can also sometimes mean that you're moving. Uh, maybe you get a job offer from somewhere in another city and they're saying, hey, we will take you um, for this employed job and you get a wonderful salary. You just have to do us the favor to move to our city. And you'll be like, hey, yeah, why not? This is coming a little quickly, but why not? So. And then we have the sun here. The sun is the absolute card of happiness. There is no better card. I mean, look at you. You're playing. You have that playful spirit. You feel like you're 14 years old again, you know? This is an amazing card to have. And just look, you don't only have the sun here above on the sun card. You also have the sun here on the lovers. And by the way, the lovers card is your card. This is the card of Gemini. So you show up in your own reading. This is amazing. You, you will be so happy in August. There is no words to describe it. And here, six of wands, the card of absolute victory. Your milestones have been met. Whatever you wanted to reach, you have reached it by August. So if you wanted to lose 10 pounds, here it is. In August, you got it. If you wanted to stop smoking forever, here it is. In August, you feel wonderful. You don't even think of cigarettes anymore. You know what I mean? This is your personal goals and victories that you have met for, um, that you wanted to meet in your life. And here, bottom of the deck, last but not least, the Ace of Swords. So with the Ace of Swords, you could get um, initiated. You could get accepted at a college, accepted at a in a certain association, club or network. Um, and this could also be, of course, for somebody around you. So it doesn't have to be you. Maybe your child is accepted at a college, yeah? And it's the card of getting the prize for your victory. So here with the Six of Wands, you're coming home as the victorious cat <laughs> coming back. This is the warrior coming back from war saying, listen, we won everybody. <laughs> and here you get um, your prize, you get your award. So whatever you do, you get seen and you get rewarded. Maybe you get a prize for something, yeah? Maybe not the Nobel Prize, but at least some kind of prize in your job association or whatever you have there. Um, so this is you getting the, the results that you really deserve because you've done hard work, yeah? You've done hard work. So this is an absolute fantastic reading, Gemini. I am so proud of you, so glad. Um, yeah, that's actually what I have for you for August. If you like this reading, please give it a like down here and click the subscribe button and also the little bell symbol next to it. And if you want to, you can leave me a comment and let me know how it resonated for you. I'm always very curious to find out. Thank you for being here. Thank you for already more than 500 subscribers. Um, 
No, that's my German channel. Here on my English channel, I already have almost 3,000 subscribers. <laughs> yeah, that's it for now. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>